All right, guys, we are back today with a Sawzall. So as you guys saw in that last clip, we are back today with a Sawzall and we are going to be doing the cold air intake mod, air filter mod for the Focus. It's kind of a popular thing. There's not a whole lot of videos out there just because people are afraid to tackle it, just for the fact that you need to Sawzall for this. But um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get started here. There's gonna be a few things that we have to do. First of all, obviously, uh, we have to remove quite a few things down here. So we're gonna go ahead and start removing things on here. But um, basically what we're gonna be doing is taking this box off right here and leaving the air filter inside the fender. So we're gonna take this box off. We're gonna have to modify this coupler right here. And uh, there's also another tube down there, which you can't see right now, but that mass airflow actually sits way down there. We're gonna be, that's where we're gonna be doing some cutting and some modifying, and that's where this extra coupler fits in. So this is all Spectre stuff from O'Reilly's or wherever I got it from, AutoZone. Um, I don't know, about 35 bucks worth of material here. Beats $200. You're gonna get some cool intake noises. So guys, we're gonna go get started here. First things first, what we gotta do is take these eight mil heads off here. But what I do wanna test out first is what the engine sounds like, like a little before and after. It's very muffled right now and it's, you know, it's just a, sounds like a four cylinder car, nothing too crazy. But nonetheless, we'll do a little sound comparison with the two next to each other. What you can hear is a little bit of gurgle in the uh, mid mid exhaust pipe there, so probably something's gonna have to be cut out. But anyway, nonetheless, this is the stock intake noise. As I was explaining in the first part of that last clip there, there are two eight millimeter bolts right here that have to come off. Can unlock the drill there or the safety lock will get it on. Take those slide right out. And these are the ones that you actually have to take out all the way because the threads are just gonna keep falling back in and locking the box in there. So there's little brass threads that prevent it from just slipping right out. It's a very annoying task to do, working on some things on this one and a half gen focus. And this is one of them. But you have a lifetime air filter. When are you ever touching it, right? It's lifetime. So, so let's get the bolts out and that loosened up. We're gonna go ahead and undo this clamp right here. Which will release the box from the tube. It's connected to the thermal body. So let's get all that done. We're going to go ahead and lift all this out. There's a little nub down there that's holding this end in. We're going to rip it out. Slide that out right there. Should come right up. The PCB right here also, it's kind of in the way. Uh, I don't think we're going to have to pull that out or anything. So just pull straight up. I mean, easy as that. So, now that this is out of the way, we are going to modify this tube. As you can see, the mass airflow sensor right there. And all this is, is a resonator. There's no filter in there. And I honestly thought this was a filter most of the time. So I believe there is some foam down here that insulates that, but uh, really this goes down here, down there to the fender. So. I would love to see what this looks like someday, um, the filter anyhow. So, but uh, we're gonna we'll go ahead and work on getting this out because that's what we need to uh, do some sawzall action with. So it's looking like the easiest way to get that hose clamp off is going to be we need to get it from the bottom. Jack the car up right now. 
crawl under it. Hopefully it comes off. Probably doesn't help that it's rusted on 14 years of road grime and salt. So I find coming from the bottom, just due to my back leaning over this far into the engine bay, it's a lot easier to jack it up. We're getting some turning here, but it, it really doesn't want to go. But we're getting it. I feel the hose releasing on top. So for anybody trying to do this mod, I'd probably recommend getting on your back and getting it. that I got it loose enough where it'll just come off just like that exactly what we need so you can see right there it reveals the tube that we need further down there is the actual intake itself so there's a lot of restriction going on here I really wish I lived in the 0 to 60 and just compared the two I'm sure there is a difference one way or another in some sort of aspect so there it is we're gonna go ahead and let me do the saws on you I have a T20 star bit. We're going to take the mass airflow sensor off. I'm sure we could cut around it, but um, being that mass airflow sensors aren't exactly the cheapest if you were to buy it from the store new, uh, even getting it from the junkyard, you know, you saw the disassembly on this thing. You really want to get on the ground at the junkyard. So, so I think doing it this way is pretty easy. I'd recommend maybe a power tool, as you can see, it's a little corroded in there. Um, so, you just pull the mass airflow out like that. It's not hard to put back in, so it just slides right out. Let that hang down there, don't want to smack anything, but as you can see, this is the tube that we need, so be very gentle with this until we get to the next portion. Next up here is gonna to be to literally just take the tube we took the sensor out of. In my case, I, I do have a vise to put it in, but I suppose whatever you can get to hold it will work. Some screws on the back of this thing for whatever reason, but um, we get it in there. Just to hold it, it's gonna cut like butter as soon as, it, as soon as the blade gets going, so. Now, I've seen other people cut it off right here, but I wanna actually cut it off right here. That way the clamp has something to sit in, and if it doesn't work, then we'll just cut it down here. So, you can always take off more, you, you know, you can't add it, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off. intake tube. So, I'm going to try it out. The coupler. So there's a reason everybody did the cut it off where, it did, where they did. Basically, I'll explain it to you, um, but don't do it. Just cut it off right here. This does go over the ring, but this plastic is not exactly uh, sealant enough. It's too firm. The plastic's too firm. There's always going to be a gap in there one way or another. So to eliminate that variable, we're just going to cut this off here. We flip it that way, then have a very nice tight gap. And then with the uh, intake, you can actually pull out little rubber slots here. So we actually we will be able to take one out and it'll be like an airtight fit. So that's how we're gonna combat that.
like I said, like butter, pretty much. One little trick you can use to eliminate you know, another little variable. Um, you definitely do not have to do this, but um, you can take a lighter and just run it around the edge like that. And that will kind of mold the plastic back into where it came from. So there we have that. Looks like we will have, I'll work on this off camera, but we're gonna have a pretty nice little tight fit right there. Honestly, do it on camera, but uh, I'm gonna get the uh, clamp and put on top of that. And uh, when we come back, we're gonna have pretty much an assembled uh, intake setup. explaining here in the video was it's very plug and play it's very simple to put together and it goes in super easy this is a factory tube and this is a factory uh, tube it's a factory hose clamp it's all going to line up very nice this is the same diameter as this right here the one we took off so basically from here on it, it's factory just like this this it's just hooking up these tubes as i showed you in the last few clips putting it together and putting the mass airflow sensor back on. So we're gonna go ahead and start it up. It's a very clean install, it's very tight, and it's serviceable, you can still service this. And this will still spin freely. Uh, obviously, that's how these intakes work. So let's go ahead and start it up. Listen to the engine, we'll pull it, pull up the floor now, so. We're not crawling back under there anymore. Let the mass air cool sensor re-regulate the air pressure, then we give it a quick rest. Definitely got more of a rougher grumble to it. Which, if you put an intake or looking at this video, you want that, so. Let it idle down real fast. honest to be my really initial impression it's not much louder than the stock I'm sure we'll find out on the road though so that's gonna wrap it up on this one here uh, this is the air intake air filter hat so I'm gonna throw this in the trash can where it belongs and um, so as usual guys thank you for watching and we will talk to you all later